In preparing to install the ECUR, be sure to have the following necessary components available. A dedicated standard AC electrical outlet located as close to the array as possible. A broadband internet connection available for use. A broadband router with a Cat5 ethernet connection or a wireless router. If you choose the wireless option, be sure to obtain the wireless router password from the home or site owner before installing the ECU. A smartphone with the AP Systems ECU app installed. Please note, you must have a smartphone with Wi-Fi capability in order to complete your ECUR installation. When selecting an installation location for the ECUR, choose a location close to the homeowner's router. More on that in a bit. Be aware, the ECUR is not rated for outdoor use. If your site requires installation outdoors, such as near a junction box or breaker panel, be sure to enclose it in a weatherproof IP24 or NEMA 3R or higher electrical box. Once you've chosen a good location for the ECUR, it's time to make the connections necessary for operation, including power, communication to the microinverters, and the communication to the internet. Before connecting the power, install one of the included antennas to the Zigbee port on the ECU. The ECUR comes with two identical antennas, either of which can be connected to the Zigbee port or the Wi-Fi port on the unit. You may choose to use an antenna extension which can be mounted in a convenient location and which have a lengthy cable so if the ECU is installed inside an enclosure, the leads can be run through a grommet for antenna placement outside the box. For some sites, this may enable better communication to the inverters. Next, install the Ethernet cable from the router to the right RJ45 port labeled RJ45 Internet. Please note that the left RS485 port is only for DRMO use in Australia and plugging it into the Ethernet cable there will not enable the necessary internet connection. Whenever possible, Always use a wired Ethernet connection to the router for the fastest, most reliable Internet connection to the gateway. For convenience, the ECUR has integrated Wi-Fi capability, which should only be used when a wired Ethernet connection is not possible. We'll cover how to connect the ECU to Wi-Fi in our next video. Once the communication connections are made, plug in the power adapter to the power connection port on the ECU, then plug the adapter into the nearby AC outlet. Once power is connected, the ECU will boot up, connect to the AP system server if an internet connection is present, and download any available updates. Since updates can sometimes take a while, it is recommended that the mounting and connection process be completed fairly early on in the solar array installation so that the unit has time to receive and install all available updates. Bear in mind that whether the ECU is off or installing updates, it will not affect microinverter power conversion or solar array production. However, the recording and transmitting of production data, in other words, the digital record of how much energy you are producing, will not be possible until the ECU is fully updated and operating normally.